I'm Johnny. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about my obsessive personality. I don't have an obsessive personality disorder. Let's just like come clean with that. That's a whole different thing. That's serious business. So if you got that, get some help. It's totally different though. Because man, just ask Shell. I can get obsessive. So I have this tendency to get involved with something so much and so intently that it completely overpowers the rest of my life. This is pretty bad when I was a little kid, super into Pac-Man. And then I was super into Egypt and I was super into all these other things, just like Harmony. It's a good thing that I have a tendency to obsess over things that make me want to learn stuff and do stuff. Instead of say, well, I don't know, heroin, crack, World of Warcraft. What I learned is that I needed to practice obsession management. If I have the kind of personality that gets deeply obsessed into something, then it just makes a whole lot of sense for me to figure out beforehand that, oh wait, this particular rabbit hole is no good. It might be a lot of fun and it could be interesting. I've already got all these other rabbit holes that I'm bouncing in and out of. Do I really need to add a sixth hole? <laughs> Giggity. I just can't jump down holes indiscriminately. Giggity. All these things are time sinks. And some are good, some are okay, and some are just not worthwhile. Like good ones are pretty obvious. Like, oh, I don't know, a video blog, music production, programming. I mean, these are good things. They've been a positive influence and effect on my life and the people around me even. Minecraft, eh, jury's still out on that. There's some good, there's some bad, but it's generally a net positive. Binding of Isaac, eh, at least it's fun, but there are worse ones. I have this smaller obsession. I'm thankful that it's small, but it's just awful. Every exposure to this obsession makes my blood boil. I get angry. I don't like it. It's all part of this meme counter meme complex that runs on pure distilled anger. I know that particular sentence is a lot to unpack, but check out this rabbit hole over here by CPG Gray, because that video will make you angry. It won't really, but go check it out and he will explain what I mean. All right, so if you've watched the video, you understand some ideas need other ideas to keep them going. They thrive on conflict. And my little obsession is one of these things. I don't want to talk about it. It's just, it's yuck, right? And I see how it eats me up and I see how it makes me angry inside. It's a lot like cake, right? Cause I can read about the thing and then get instantly fired up and get that instant adrenaline boost. And, and yeah, it's like, Great, so I've got the mental equivalent of a sugar rush. But does it help anything? Does it help me in any way? No, if anything, it's worse. Instead of choosing to eat mental cake, I can choose to eat mental artichokes, which are far, far tastier and far healthier. I can choose to put my energy towards something like music and art and contributing to my society and my culture and feeling better about it. It's harder, right? You don't get that instant rush, but it's ultimately better for me and for everyone around me. Like I can make a positive contribution to this world or I can get angry about someone being wrong on the internet. <laughs> I mean, really, who cares? Tips for single guys from Justine. If the only thing you ever talk about is your car, you should probably reevaluate your life. So I implore you, as an outraged junkie, don't get involved in the anger memes. Don't do it. Winners don't get outraged. They get outrageous. And remember kids, mental vegetables are fun.